Yes, I did. So I packed it up and brought it back to the crib. Just a little something, show you how we live. Everybody want it, but it ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. That's that shit. So if you gon' do it, do it just like this. Inside of Full Circle, we get to visit with Relentless Aaron, who is not only an author of countless, I've, I've lost count how many books that you've written, um, but he is also a visionary, and he is, uh, it's not even a business anymore, it's like a conglomerate, and we're so lucky to have him. How are you? I'm doing marvelous. You're doing marvelous. <laughs> So tell us who Relentless Aaron is. It's like I, I, you know, you're all over. I think I read you have like one billion media images now floating around the World Wide Web. Um, but <laughs> there's more than that. <laughs> but but you. All of those images, those impressions. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, but I think to some, you're still kind of an enigma because you transcend the whole author uh, thing now. I think that you've like kind of gone beyond that. So kind of tell us who you are and and yeah, why we know so I'm much an, about you. I'm an author, but it's, it's really like uh, being a life coach. Um, uh, so I, I channel my, my life energy, my, my life coaching skill set through my books and um, through my characters. And I think that's what really connects with people more than anything. So... So if you were to like throw Dr. Phil, Anthony Robbins, and with a little dash of Malcolm X, that might be me. Uh, more than a little dash of <laughs> Malcolm okay. X. Okay, all right, all right. So <laughs> Malcolm X post-prison and, Mal and Dirty Red pre-prison. Right, that? that's that's a little bit closer to it because you, you have a hustle kind of mentality that I think um, – most people, you know, don't even grasp. Tell us how you got started and, and how you've gotten to where you are. I know it, it was a long journey, but tell us a little bit about how you got started. Yeah, it's been, just been through a whole lot in, in my life. And um, I like to consider myself um, still young. Uh, 42 is the new 32. <laughs> so, I, you know, just um, from, from a young age being um, forced to uh, the Marine Corps, at, at uh, I think it was like eight seventeen when I went in there, and then coming out and trying college and trying various things that that, that really found, found found me in the um in the midst of um, the entertainment industry and and in in the um the club business and in real estate and high finance. I just have done been there, done that uh, squared, <laughs> and so. I basically, um, with all of this experience that, that I've um, embodied, I basically impregnate into my books. And this is what people get when they pick up a Relentless Aaron book. You know, they can't really pigeonhole me because I write psycho dramas, I write murder mysteries, I write action drama. But a lot of my, a lot of my books have even uh, entrepreneurial themes in them. So, it, you know, it's just if anything goes in a book, you may have a character that's good and who adjacent to a character that's bad and and when you when you have a bad character people, people have to feel it so you really have to, I have to pull from my worst uh, my worst side from your worst side yeah, I mean, do you have, have a, a bad, side? bad side and uh, we may be in denial of that bad side <laughs> or we, we may be in church trying to rid ourselves <laughs> of that bad side but the fact is, is that um, we are we as one, you know, um, when, when somebody does a, something bad on the other side of the earth, I'm going to feel it over here some way, in some way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. you know, and just, just like, um, just like uh, the, the tower blown up over here in New York, I mean, it was felt around the world, it's a shot felt around the world, so it's not as if, you know, I'm not going to feel your misery um, uh, if, if I... Even if I don't learn about it, it's somehow in that in the atmosphere. I'm going to learn about it because it's being bounced around by people that know you, that people that know them, and people that know me. And uh, we're we're like two, two to six degrees from one another. But you and me are only two degrees, right, Nikki? Right, two little bitty degrees. Two, two little bitty degrees. From Nikki Woods. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us, because, I mean, not only, I mean, did you get, like, an awesome publishing deal, like, right out of the gates. Tell us about this new development. Well, it's not even that new, but it continues to get bigger uh, with G-Unit Books. Yes, I did. So I packed it up and brought it back to the crib. Just a little something, show you how we live. Everybody want it, but it 
ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. That's that shit. So if you gon'